Hi everybody, my name is Dom and welcome back to Three Bricks Higher. Today, we're just going to throw some science at you. Years ago, I was in a class called Advanced Physical Science and I had a great teacher by the name of Miss Franklin. Now, she taught me how to make pure oxygen and today I'm going to pass that knowledge along to you. I'm also going to show you two different things that you can do with pure oxygen. Now, the best thing about this is you can do this for under $2. You'll need some hydrogen peroxide. That is yeast that you use when you make bread. They have fast-acting yeast. You don't want to use that. You just want to use the standard yeast. All right, now we're going to remove the lid. We just want the inside, and as you can see, it has a safety pop-up button. So because of that, I'm going to drill my hole off to the side. Now we're going to pour in some hydrogen peroxide. We're going to use a good bit of this, about three-quarters of the glass. Let's add a teaspoon of the yeast. When you get this reaction going, so I'm going to stir this up a little bit. Set you one of those ZD noodles on top of it, and as the oxygen pushes through the noodle, you will create a pasta rocket. As you can see, the flame shooting out pretty strong right there. And that's how that's done. Now guys, if you're going to capture oxygen, here is what you're going to need. I think the setup is pretty self-explanatory. You're going to need a bowl with some water, and uh, you're going to need a lot of water, enough to cover the jar that you're going to put inside of it. Finish topping that thing off over the top of your jar. Now you're going to want to invert the jar inside of the bowl of water without allowing air into it. So now that the jar is upside down and it is completely full of water, we're going to get this reaction going. Again, hydrogen peroxide. Heck, let's add some more. We want a big reaction. After that, we're going to add the yeast. Now, the hydrogen peroxide is going to decompose to water and oxygen when that yeast is added, and that's how pure oxygen is being made. I'm going to want to make sure that I've got my tube underneath the inside of the jar that's upside down. And now we're going to agitate this yeast and get this reaction going. As you can see instantly we've got bubbles coming to the inside of that jar capturing that pure oxygen. Now guys after about five minutes that jar is going to be full of oxygen so I need to get it out of there without allowing water inside the jar or allowing the oxygen to escape. So I'm going to remove my tube that's feeding oxygen to the jar. Again I'm going to use the top of that mason jar lid. I'll seal the hole with my finger and we will flip it upside down, or flip it right side up. Now here's what you can do with a full jar of oxygen. Now guys, pure oxygen is not combustible, but it is an oxidizing agent that will support combustion. As you can see on the match, see how that flame jumps up? Years ago, Miss Franklin sparked my interest in science, and I wouldn't know how to do any of this if it wasn't for her. Miss Franklin? <laughs> I appreciate you. So guys, if y'all have a teacher that uh, made a difference in your life, be sure and thank them. Again, my name's Dom and this is Three Bricks Higher. Guys, we post videos on it about every two to three weeks. So uh, check back or subscribe. We'll catch you next time.